Hey, hi. <laughs> I'm Mona. This is Sacred Geometry Universe Video Journal Diary for uh you know, I think it's I think it's the 13th, right? Because I think on the 12th we left. And uh if I'm wrong, I'll put the right date up there anyways, you know, but it's around that time. <laughs> We're in a different park. Uh, this is a view of, you know, out my front door, right? I'm not inside. I have the camera set up to where you can see kind of how I look out the front door. We got Chica right there. We just took a big walk around this whole place. Um, I tie them to the tree, you know, but this is a nice place. You know, I've been here before, you know over down there they have a boat ramp you know and, and people they go the fishing over there you know it's a very popular place you can see especially in the nighttime they come with their generators and they they shine the light out there on uh the river that's the colorado river that's over there too but you guys see like the weather is starting to change their clouds are building up the clouds are building up and um Hopefully the wind is not messing with the sound because, you know, the wind, when the wind blows, it does that, you know. But um, I'll, I'll see after. <laughs> but um, it's not very, very windy, but even the wind is not that bad right now. So I don't know. You know, I might actually uh, take a shower pretty soon because this would be an ideal weather and the way I'm parked, it's not ideal for showers either because the road is right there. If I open the door, I'm right there. So I might have to take a shower uh, inside. It's okay. I can still do it, you know. Um, <clears throat> this rain, though, that's what I'm thinking about. Like after my visit here, going towards the coast, I think it's going to be rainy over there. But I have a friend, and I didn't want to bother them because they they actually invited me to stay with them if I wanted. Um, it's a, a, a guy I met uh, at Carl Park, uh, and he's married. You know, he him and his wife, of course, invite, not just him. It's, he, they're normal. He's normal, okay? He's not a creepy or anything like that. Um, but they, they, he invited me if I wanted to, uh, I, you know what, I'm going to find out a little bit about where he's at because he's close to here. So maybe I might, I might take him up on that offer. I don't like to bother people, you know, too much. If, if everything's cool, you know, I don't want to be a, a, a burden on anyone or imposition on their normal daily life, you know, cause you know, I got other things going on myself and I can't really be, you know, pushing any, anybody into what I do all the time. You know what I mean? So I just, um, oh, I thought I saw a mark on my face, but it was nothing. Uh, but he wrote me, he said, oh, you're over there. And I said, oh, I just left there, but I'm here now at this other spot. But I said, yeah, the rain is coming. I might take him up on that offer. I might ch chat with him a little bit. I know that today we are going to have to go into the town anyways of uh, Palacios. It's only going to be like 23 minutes, okay? When I was at, um, what do you call it? Uh, the Magnolia Beach, man, that's like 30 minutes to get to the store. So this is nothing, you know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> and the town has everything. They got, they got propane, they got water, they got ice. I saw they have a water ice machine over there uh, when I visited last. They also have a nice place to walk the dogs i i don't know i was thinking about it i might actually do a video of me walking around it's a nice it's just a you know a little park where you see the water and all this and, and that. but um yeah i don't know how i'm gonna you know also they changed up this place i mean they didn't change it up much but they did change it up they have a new sign out there when you pull in and then they have another sign that uh, specifies fees, okay? Yes, babe, you gotta go the other way. He got, he he's, keeps getting tangled up. He's gonna have to wait. Um, but yeah, and it says, you know, the prices for adults and seniors and disabled. And then on the very, very bottom part, it says camping seasonal, but it doesn't really specify price or anything for that. Um, I went online and, and it does say, you know, well, people are saying that it's a three-day stay. 
but I'm going to actually go online and look it up. It's uh, LCRA Parks because, you know, I don't mind to pay because the prices they have listed there is very cheap. All day. I have scam likely all the time. All the time. Let's see if someone answers. Hello. Hello, hi. I was nice, so they hung up. <laughs> That's so funny. You know, it's it's weird. You know, I've been answering those calls lately. You know what? And I say, hi, how are you guys? And it's usually like an Indian voice guy. And so they start talking and all this and the other. And then I usually say, oh, I don't qualify, right? And then I just say, I'm military, right? I'm a veteran, you know? But I say that and they're like, oh, like automatically they know. No military people qualify for this health subsidy thing. We make less money than all you all people out there who are working and struggling, who have no medical and all that. But they're giving all that money to those people and those people, they're not using it for medical. They're using it to pay their bills, pay the rent, pay their whatever, but they're not using it for medical. They're not. They're just receiving the card and getting their new clothes. And it's so messed up. It's so ridiculous how they're doing here in the United States. Instead of giving them money, how about giving them free health care? There's, there's an idea. You know, there's an idea. And, and have them make their own money instead of the taxpayers. You know, like I'm out here. I don't, I don't have a lot of money. I have a little money. I have enough money. But like, you know it's good enough for me and I have medical cause I was, I was military. But like, when you think about it, like they're giving away a lot, a lot of money per month. And that is just making everything like that sucks <laughs> for, you know, the taxpayers. Yes. Okay. Taxes are high and I, and I'm not paying much taxes myself, but I still believe it's high for the taxpayers. I'm not going to complain and be like, Oh, they shouldn't, you know, it's like, yeah, it's not fair. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you know, I try to look at equal sides of the things. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not. I'm not trying to be like it's all for me. I deserve. No, you gotta look at things. You gotta step back and look at things. Like who's paying for all this and who's doing? It's so weird, you guys. Something weird, you know. Anyways, about this place because I don't really like to talk politics and that stuff because it's it's a downer. Um, but this place, you know, they the thing I see wrong here though. I'm gonna put money in there when I leave. Okay. I haven't seen not one person put any money in there. And it's like for day use. It says for day use for an adult, for child, for seniors, for disabled. You know, for that part, it, you would think that people would be driving by and throwing money in there. Nobody does. Nobody does. One reason, one thing I think it's bad that they're doing here is they are not putting envelopes for you to put the money in. They just have a they a box with a slot in there. So if like 10 people show up here to fish, cause yeah, a lot of people come to fish. I'm telling you, cars and cars load up right there. They have their boats, they go out and they fish right there because it's a nice fishing dock. How are you gonna know which one paid? There you go. How are you gonna know? How are you gonna know who paid and who didn't? You're not. So you can't really run up on people and say, did you pay? Because you have no proof on who paid. So this is a bad system they have here. They have to put envelopes or something there that says, hey, I am this person and I paid. They don't have that. Uh, and it says camping seasonal. And on the website, you know, you have people who comment on there and they're saying, oh, it's three days camping and wonderful. Yes, it's just... I'm going to go on to the LCRA website and find out exactly how many days can you really camp here and how are you supposed to pay because that is not an efficient way because I could put my money in there and then some rangers or whoever come by check it if I'm the only one here or if there's a bunch of cars here I'm sorry if there's a bunch of cars here who how are they going to know that I paid if there's no I'd have to dig out my own envelope and put you know what I'm saying? And I might have one or I'll have a piece of paper and some tape or something, but not everybody has that. You got to provide the envelopes if you want to get paid, right? 
And you know what? I'll be honest with you. The price they're asking is not too much. So is it too much to put in an envelope? You know, maybe they don't want to do that because they feel that no one's going to pay. That's pretty much promoting. You don't have to pay us if you don't want to. But I mean, I see some new things around here that probably need to get paid for. They fix the sites. They have numbers on the sites now over there. They have three sites. And I think it's, you know, you can camp there. They have them numbered. I think that would be tent camping. This right here, they, they built up a whole thing right here. It's brand new, you can tell, for the trash. They have new trash bins in there. They have two porta potties. There's no toilet paper or anything in there, so maybe they don't supply that anymore, maybe because of the you know non-payments. And then, of course, they have benches where they mark the numbers, right? And then you can also use the pavilion if you pay, I guess. But how are they going to know you paid? And, you know... You can probably tent camp out there and they've got plenty of parking. And this on this side is kind of, they mowed out a section. This is probably for like campers and stuff because I have seen campers parked on this side. I look like this right here. I kind of camped by the uh, trees because I was worried if, if it gets windy, maybe the trees will block some of the wind. I know my car will. The car is, the wind is coming from this direction. So yeah, you know, I mean, I don't know. I still have to look some stuff up. You know what I'm saying? But I will. I'll see. Because when I leave, I, I, I will contribute. You know, if there's a place that says you got to pay and you stay there, you should. You should pay. Because if you don't, eventually they will. They might close those, those places down because of non-payment. Because if people aren't respecting, you know, the little tiny fee that they're asking, which is really tiny, trust me, um it's nothing it's nothing to to keep a nice park in the community you know so i don't know but that's all i have it was an outside one today um but yeah that's what's gonna go on it's not hot it's a little breezy um but yeah i think what i'm gonna do see now here they have the trash guy coming coming to take pick up the trash right so it's just it's nice here you know they're taking care of the the place two dollars is or two to for me it would be two dollars but for anyone else it's up to five dollars that's not a lot of money to ask you know so but that's all i have and here comes a truck guy it's gonna make a lot of noise so i'm gonna just go ahead and end it here i'm mona this is Sager Geometry Universe Video Journal Diary for December 13, 2023. Talk to you next time. Bye. <laughs>